Hello everyone. Today I found a really cool book in the library. It's about a cat who gets adopted from the animal shelter where pets are waiting to find a home. This story is written in haikus. A haiku is a very short poem that records an impression of something happening around you. Haikus are usually three lines long. The first and last lines have five syllables each and the middle line has seven syllables. So in order to understand what a haiku is and how to write one, we have to remind ourselves what a syllable is. You may have learned to count syllables by clapping. One syllable for each clap. So like, my name is Julia, which is three syllables. Ju-li-a. Or if your name was Bella, you'd have just two syllables. Bell la. Syllables make up the beat of language, so they're very important in poetry. For now, enjoy the story about this cat's adventures in his new home, and when you're done, you can write your own haiku about your own experience and impressions. Wonton, a cat tale told in haiku by Lee Wardlaw illustrated by Eugene Yelchin. The shelter. Nice place they got here. Bed, bowl, blankie, just like home. Or so I've been told. Gypsy on my left, pumpkin on my right. Together, we are all alone. Visiting hours. Yawn, I pretend not to care, yet I sneak a peek. The choosing. Dogs have hair, cats fur. Dogs whine, yip, howl, bark, cats purr. I say, no contest. I dub her Pinchy. He's, ow, tail yanker. You, boy, rub my chin just right. No rush, I've got plans. Gnaw this paw, nip that flea, and wish. Please, boy, pick me. Latch squeaks, door swings wide. Free, free at last. Yet, one claw snags, clings. To what's known. The car ride. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Wait, let me back in. The naming. Buster? Bubba? Spike? Great rats! Those don't befit an oriental prince. Cleo? Leia? Bell, got a tick in your ear? I said prince, not princess. Wonton? How can I be soup? Someday, I'll tell you my real name. Maybe. The new place. Deep, dark bed cave. Me? Hiding? I'm no scaredy cat. I like dust bunnies. Here, kitty kitty. Ha, I'll stay put till I know. Are they friend or foe? Yawn, string on a stick. Fine, I'll come out and chase it to make you happy. The feeding. Sniff, snub, what is this stuff? True, I liked it once. That was then. This is now. Fine, if you insist. I'll try just one nibble. But I won't enjoy it. What do you mean, ew? How is my tuna breath worse than peanut butter? Sorry about the squishy in your shoe. Must have been something I ate. The adjustment. 
Scratching post? Haven't heard of it. Besides, the couch is so much closer. Pesky fly, allow me to muzzle his buzzle. Never mind the lamp. Nap time. Be gone, O oh fancy pad. I prefer these socks. They smell of you. Help! I've been catnapped, dressed in frillies, forced to lap tea with your sister. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Wait, let me back in. The yard. A dog stopped here once. And here? There. And here again. Oh, a cat's nose knows. Crickets crunch, mice snap. Wing thing makes a dusty snack. No meat on a moth. Prickle puffed, I hiss. Scat! This yard ain't big enough for the both of us. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Wait, let me back out. Home. Hello, I'm waiting. Put down that pesky pencil and fetch the catnip. I explained it loud and clear. What part of meow don't you understand? Oops, I mistook these for wiggling worms. I didn't know they were your toes. Eavesdropping, I hear my cat. Great rats! Don't you know that you're my boy? Your tummy, soft as warm dough. I knead and knead, then bake it with a nap. Good night, wanton, you whisper. Boy, it's time you knew. My name is Haiku. The end. A great place to find inspiration for a haiku is out in nature. I'm going to take a hike and turn some of my impressions into haikus. You can do this at home too, just by writing about whatever's around you or maybe going outside and taking a walk. Let's go. Do you hear the frogs ribbiting in the forest, learning to be bold? Ladybug party. Let's meet by the white flower and have a good time. Mountains up ahead, I am walking through tall grass, learning to be strong.